Hey everyone, it's Tara with Sweet Country Glam. Boy, I have an awesome video for you. I want to show you how you can start your own small business making things using your Joy or any of your Cricut machines. So, let's get started. <music> Okay, don't judge. Didn't dry my hair yet. It's way too hot to use blow dryer. So I'm uh, getting this natural curl going on. I don't know if it'll look good later, but ugh, oh well. I'll just put one of my hats on because that's one of our awesome projects. Um, be sure that you grab a paper and pencil. You're gonna wanna take notes, seriously. There are some good things in here that you may not remember because this is gonna be uh, covering a couple of different ideas. And I wanna make sure that you have a well-rounded vision on how you wanna build up a small business if that's something that you've been kind of simmering in the back of your mind. Go out and get it, you can do this. Okay, so I have a couple of things. I'm gonna show you a little quick sneak. If you already have hats that have like an embroidery or something already on the front of them, that's okay. You can always do something to the back. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you can use heat iron on transfer and put cool things on the back. See, I'm not gonna show you all of it yet. I want it to be a surprise. Okay, another thing is car decals. This is a huge thing. A lot of people want to be able to put their personality on their cars or they wanna say something. And car decals are a really great way of doing that. So you can also create car decals using your Cricut Joy or even your maker. You know, please note that anything that I make on the Joy today, you can also make on your Cricut Maker or your Cricut Explorer Air 2. So you are not limited by any stretch of the imagination. There are a couple of limitations to the Joy and I'll go over those with you, but honestly, um, they're minimal. Um, it just all depends if those minimal, uh, pretty much lacking com compatibilities are kind of a deal breaker on whether you're gonna buy one or not. It's really up to you. You will need a printer. I use an HP DustJet 3630 series. They're not very expensive. You can see the link in the description. Um, I think I got mine for $35, $40, and then I do the Insta Ink. It's awesome. Be sure, check all the links in the description. Again, Cricut is really overwhelmed with supply and demand, so make sure you see our other links if you're looking and wanting to buy a mini press, a uh, Cricut machine, a bundle, you name it. So we'll have some more uh, links updated as well. All right, so once you have your pencil and paper, you're gonna wanna take notes. What color vinyl, what color hat, what, is some of th what are some of the images that you want to create and sell? And you can sell on many platforms. You can create a Shopify account. You can create an Etsy account like I have mine. Um, there's many platforms that you can work on. So you have to find what's best for you. Now, please note that Etsy probably has the less amount um, of fees because it's 20 cents a listing, and I think you get it for three months. Now, there's gonna be other online platform stores that are gonna cost you maybe 30, 40, $50 a month. So you need to make sure you're ready um, to have revenue and have some income and profit to make sure that you're getting above that line so you're not losing money. So another thing is, is besides car decals, we're gonna learn how to make stickers. So you're gonna need to go out and buy the Cricut sticker paper. Again, everything that I'm using, links in the description, take your time, look through them, see which ones you need to bookmark and save for future use. Also, I will have design bundles as well. There's a bunch of design bundles, SVGs, that I'm gonna be showing you for stickers, for decals, you name it. Then also, I have my shirt on where I did Sweet Country Glam, so I'm gonna show you how you can make shirts as well. Oh my goodness, you can't forget earrings either. Possibilities are endless. I will show you how you make these, how you make so many more, where you can get them. The links will be down below. Jewelry is gonna be something you can make for gifts. You can definitely sport them, wear them. You don't ever have to go out and buy any anymore, which is really nice. So possibilities are endless, and this is a great little small business to start, especially as we start transitioning into all of the amazing fall holidays coming our way. All right, let's see how we make these. All right, friends, well, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Joy project number one, earrings. This is a great market for you to start your own business, ladies. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you that I got this from the leather bundle off of Design Bundles. The link is in the description. So once you get your SVG, you're going to be uploading each of the individual SVGs uh, to Design Space. And as you can see, I'm right here. Now, 
If you didn't download all of them and if you double clicked on one, what's nice is that you can go up here to flip and tell it to flip horizontally and it's gonna be the same image for you. No problem there. So here you have your three pairs of earrings that you're gonna be layering. I always like to come over to the line type color box and change up the colors just so that I can get a little bit more of a definition and kind of like what I'm going for with look wise. Now, of course, these colors aren't going to be exactly what I'm gonna be working with, but it at least gives you just some definition. All right, so we have this guy and I'm going to send this guy to the front because he's gonna be our front. There you go. So there you have an earring, nice and layered. Very similar to another uh, layer tutorial that I did and you can see that up at the top of the screen. And so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna decide what faux leather you're gonna use, decide which ones you're gonna cut first and I'm gonna send them through the joy. Also, be sure if you're gonna be doing your glitter double-sided, duplicate two for each pair of little earrings and let's get them assembled. So just wanted to let you know, we're going to be going back down to one video a week. The reason is, I promise it's not forever, we just closed on a house. It is our next flip. It's possibly going to be our forever home. My husband, the budget builder, he's going to be bringing us amazing videos and I'll probably be making cameos in them as well. If you love the HGTV shows like I do and my husband, this is gonna be a very similar one. You guys get to see through Budget Builder. Check out his channel and make sure you put the bell on so that you know when we post our first video. We're gonna be gutting, we're gonna be rebuilding, we're gonna be doing so many amazing things to this house. And trust me, my Cricut machines are going to be involved. So make sure you stay tuned to our flipping adventures. All right, friends, project number two. Another thing that you can create is car decals. These are something that people are going to always want to buy. They want to decorate, they want to give their flair to whatever it is that they like or they want to promote. All right, so what's really nice is that if you're already a premium member, um, Cricut Access, I'll also leave a link for you down below in the description. It's great because you do not have to buy many of these hundred thousands of SVGs that they have available for you. So if you click on images and you just put in partial sayings or whatever it is, you're going to find many things to spark your creativity. So you can make these all car decals if you wanted. So look through here, see the ones that you find are the most creative in your opinion and snag them, bring them over to your canvas. Let me show you some of the ones that stuck out to me. I got this guy. I really liked how this had the sun, it had a tree, and then it had the mountains all kind of embodied into the text, and that it had some cursive, and then it had some print. So I think that this is a well-rounded sticker, and this would be great on the back of a vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this sized up about a four and a half. You can see my length and diameter is right here 
each side and you can also see it up top here. You can always unlock your padlock if you want to adjust it to a specific size. So if you were going to create three by fives, four by sixes, five by 10 stickers, you'll want to go in there and adjust them accordingly. Uh, you definitely don't want to go anywhere past a 5x7 and you're going to have to stay under a 5x7 just because for the joy you're limited on your width. So that's the only thing to take into consideration. And what's really great is that every project I'm doing can be done on your maker as well. Let's send this through and get it cut. See that like button? See it? Smash it right now. Right. Okay, so I'm making a Sweet Country Glam shirt. I am using the Bohemian uh, Spirit font um, from Font Bundles along with, you can see it right here, um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that and mess it up. <laughs> now of course you can cut this in multiple pieces with either your infusible ink or your iron on vinyl with your joy or you can do it all in one big bundle with your maker. So the choice is yours. I'm just giving you the options that it is doable for the joy. So I went over to the text box and pretty much I did, I just typed in sweet separately and then I did country and then glam. And what I did is after that, let me go ahead and type in sweet. You gotta make sure you change it. All right, so we have sweet. Now you, you can see that they're separated. I go to ungroup and I resize the E's because I feel like they're a little bit smaller and I make them a little bit bigger, okay? So you can see right here, whoops, too big. And then I want to connect anything that has, you know, a little leg on them and make anything a little bit bigger just so that I can size everything up. I'm going to actually get rid of this S and bring him to the Bohema font that I like so much. And again, these fonts, they'll be in the links below. Uh, let's go ahead and click on this guy, capital S and I just like the curly Q in him. This is the same S, you can see the tutorial up at the top right hand corner there where we did uh, monogram earrings. And then once you like the way everything looks, go ahead and hit select all. Um, the biggest thing is you wanna weld them because if you don't weld them, uh, these are gonna come in pieces right here and that's gonna look funny when you do your shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna attach these. I'm gonna just bring this down and I'm gonna show you what I was working on. And I'm gonna pop these little guys. And as you can see, they're the Bohema ornaments, okay? If I go ahead and go to Bohema ornaments and click on the M, these are going to pop up. So for instance, I'm gonna go ahead and click on it, click on the M, make sure you're not in the script. The script is going to have the letters and then the ornaments is going to have the symbols. So if I hit M, you can see that I just resize these and make these much bigger. Okay, so then now, now I'm going to start unveiling the words and they're going to populate in the exact order. So here is what my shirt's going to look like with the heat iron on transfer. Now of course I am not going to be using black for everything. The thing is what's really great about the joy, let me just go back, let me show you what it would do. Um, the thing is is that it would align them and let's say we just used a map for this it's going to align it like this. So you're gonna have multiple cuts. So do you see right here? You're gonna have your sweet, you have your glam, and then you have your country, and then you can see where it placed the stars. So you're gonna have to go back and um, reposition everything. But the thing is, is if you're doing multiple colors, it's not gonna be a big deal. You get to cut everything out, don't worry about it, position it on the shirt, and you're good to go. So 
you can send this to either your joy or your maker. It's up to you. All right, let's go ahead and get this cut. The shirt idea I want you to be able to think outside the box now if you have hats or have seen really cute hats they have blank ones to start off with at Hobby Lobby or Michaels wherever your local craft shop is you can even buy them in bulk I'll leave you a couple of links in the description for you to check out as well so what's nice is that this is a blank slate for you this is a create your own design opportunity for some heat iron on transfer vinyl and just to make some really poppin hats because there's a lot of girls out there that love their hats especially if it is a hat kind of day and trust me I have hat days very often so this is where you can go to images and let's just see now remember I have premium access so a lot of things are going to be free for me so let's just say Jim Hare don't care that could be one you could do I want you to go to the blank canvas. I want you to become familiar with the Cricut Design Space and to try to create your own SVG, okay? So this is where you would upload some of the really nice fonts that you like. I want you to peruse fontbundles.com and find some that are very appealing to you that you would like to see on your work and something that you would like to sell and start your own little small business. One of my favorites has to be um, this one right here so let's put messy hair let me spell it right so let's go ahead let's leave that guy there another thing I'm going to change this up to a different one I like to change up the fonts because then it just makes it a little bit different I love my uh, autumn and November this is a really pretty one messy hair don't care super cute this is probably one of my absolute favorites and again it's called autumn and November and again you're gonna have to ungroup them bring them closer together so that oh looks really tiny you're gonna have to do a little finessing you're gonna have to do some resizing take your time with this have fun enjoy the the creativity that you get from this and that you are creating your own image created it in just a unique sort of way uh, i like to make some of my letters a little bit bigger just so they jive better once again do not forget once you ungroup and you're moving your letters closer together you need to weld them friends don't forget to weld otherwise everywhere where they connected there's going to be a little cut there because the cricket is going to think that it needs to cut the whole letter out you want it to think that it's just one cut so once you played around with this and you like the way it looks you need to then decide what heat iron on transfer vinyl you want to work with that is going to be your decision on what you are going to adhere to the front or the back so I am going to go ahead and make this really tiny I'm going to send this through the joy and get these all adjusted to the way you like it and then send them through your joy and we'll get our mini press and iron it on.
All right, project number five, let's roll with the stickers. Now this is something just for your maker friends and as we go through it, you're gonna understand why it's set for the maker and not for the joy. What I need you to know is that for the maker or your Explorer Rare, this does involve using a printer. I use an HP DeskJet and it's the 3630 series. It's actually a really decent printer. Um, it's probably about 30 to 40 bucks. You can check the link in the description on Amazon. All right, now I already have some designs already pre-made, but I hid them because I want us to walk through it together. You can get your own template if you like from Design Bundles. I'll have that in the link. I want you to go over to Shapes and I want you to click on the square. Now, once you get the square, I'm gonna open mine up so you can see it. I want you to take your pen and I want you to write down in your notes if you've been taking them already, the width and the height, okay? These are the dimensions that you need to have for your sticker paper for it to print out and have the correct guidelines so when your maker or explorer scans it, everything's good to go. You can go back over to the shapes and start inserting them inside the borders of this square. So for instance, let's see you click a pentagon and you wanna make them three across, four across, five across, however big you want them. Right now, I want you to go ahead and pick a few different designs, size them up. Let's just pick one more. I'll pick a star and let's just play with these for a moment, okay? Now you can go over to the cut, the line type, and you can change the color if you want, but this is the next thing I wanna show you. So make sure you have your pin handy. I want you to go over to the no fill, okay? I want you to click on print, okay? Now it says print. Now I want you to click on this box here, okay? Go back and click on the shape that you like. Go to print, click on the box. You'll know that you're on the, you'll know you're on the correct shape when it is colored right here, okay? Now I want you to click on this drop box. You probably haven't noticed it before, but if you have, great. I want you to click on it. Let's open up a whole new world of fun on the Cricut Hit Pattern. All of these are patterns and there's quite a few of them. So you can scroll down, go to any one you want and click on it. And it's going to fill that star with that pattern. Ta-da! And what's great is it's gonna print that way with your colored ink. So let's go over to the diamond. Once again, go to no fill, click print, you gotta make sure you follow these steps. Write it down if you need to. So again, go to fill, go to print, make sure your selection box over your piece you want. Go to the drop down color box, click on the drop down, go to pattern, and then just start scrolling through. There's some beautiful different types of prints. You know, you got summer prints, fall prints, winter, you name it, they have animals. And if you don't like it, you keep scrolling, find something else. There you go, you have that one. You can play around with this as much as you want and really make it your own. And then I want you to go to edit pattern because then you can change the scale. And what I mean by that is watch what happens. You're going to see the smaller design become bigger or smaller, okay? And you can have it go horizontally, vertically, you can rotate it, especially if there is like a flower for instance and it's like half on, half off, you can rotate it to where you can see it front and centered. So definitely a lot of fun. So once again, you go to print, click on print, click on the color. Now you're on the pattern. And as you continue to scroll down, you find something that works for you. All right, that looks good. Now you're gonna go through and you're gonna fill this entire box up, okay? And when you're done with that, you're going to make sure you flatten everything. So you would select all and you would flatten, but not before you add any text that you wanna add. Uh, a birthday's coming up and you have a cake. Now, these are images that I found. I typed in birthday cake or just cake and you can insert whatever you like, okay? So now you can go in here and you can put birthday. Now, if it's hiding behind it, that's okay. All you gotta do is go up to a range and say send to the front, okay? You'll have to do some finessing. All right, and you can make this as small as you need it to, but just to give you an idea, you have a birthday. And then let's say you have coffee date, whatever you need. I have some cute coffees in my upload let me bring you there. Go to view all. So anything you've uploaded, you can use. I think these are super cute. They're actually earrings. I'm gonna use in another tutorial. But let's say, and you can make the cup a pattern. You can make the heart a pattern. Okay, 
So anything you want to do, the possibilities are endless. You can have so much fun with this. Now, when you're ready to go ahead and have this all print, and then you're going to send it through your maker or your air, it's going to cut. Now, one thing I've learned is if you don't flatten it, like I mentioned before, it's going to cut any words and any images you put on top of the stickers, okay? Because it thinks it's layers that it has to cut. So you're wanting to tell your machine, you're wanting to tell pretty much Design Space, no, everything is just one solid cut. Do not cut the metal. Once you flatten it, it becomes part of the image. And then now it's only going to cut out your image here, okay? Have fun with your creation. Once you have everything set and it's flattened, I want you to go to make it. And it is going to show you, of course, my box would be filled. Okay, so if you only have three, maybe your piece of sticker paper is small, here's your option. Okay, you're going to have it show on your sticker paper here. It's going to have these grid lines right here. This is showing you where your machine is going to scan. When you tape down or use any tape to make sure your sticker paper doesn't shift around on your blue or purple mat, do not cover these grid lines. Otherwise, it will not cut. It will show you an error message. Be sure that this whole grid line box is free of anything covering it. You don't need a mirror, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna show you my full sheet of stickers that I've put together. Now this was something that I've been working on and you can have fun with it, do whatever you like, make them as big or small as you like. Send this to the printer. Let me show you the steps. Click send to printer and give it a second. You have your desk jet. You can see the printer I'm using. You can say add bleed. Here you go. This pops up. Make sure that you have your one copy. I like to go to best, okay? And I'm not doing it on glossy paper, so I'm just gonna have an auto select. And it looks like we're all set to go. Once you're ready, go ahead and hit print. If you do have the option for sticker paper or photo paper, go right ahead. Find the setting that works best for you. This may take a few copies. Um, printed copies to find what works best for the materials that you're using. Okay, so I want to show you what happens when you when you don't flatten your stickers. So I was working on this a couple weeks ago and I'm like, what happened? What did I do? I missed a step, okay? This is where you definitely have to make sure you're taking notes, but I wanted to show you because we just hit print, we're getting a copy, um, but before you put it in your Cricut machine. So you see when you don't flatten it, it cuts the text out. So it cut the sticker, nice, but it cuts the text. So uh, that's why, you know, I mean the patterns, everything came out really good. I just wanted to show you the colors on my printer. I think they're very bright and vibrant, okay? And again, this is just the Cricut sticker paper. It's pretty thick paper too, so great for planners, whatever you guys want to use it for. All right, let's go ahead and see what our final project looks like. Life is sweet. Set some goals and have a blessed day.